Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Thomas Park. Welcome back to another review. Today I'm going to be checking out the Echo Buds. Are these going to be worth your money or not? They pretty much just came out. They're brand new and I've been using them for around a day or two or so. So I'm going to give you my thoughts. So guys, first up is the pros. Um, now the Echo Buds I think work better with Alexa than any other buds. It's like having Alexa in your ear. Now that may not seem like much to you, but it's actually a pretty cool thing. One of the reasons I bought the Echo Buds is because I was annoyed that Siri and both the Google Assistant couldn't really interface with applications like Audible. Now, if you're kind of within the Alexa ecosystem and you like using Audible, what you're gonna be able to do is put the buds in, even if your phone is locked, um, as long as you have the application like previously opened on your phone, you're gonna be able to just say, you know, Alexa, play, you know, God damn it. You're just gonna, Alexa, stop it. So you're pretty much just gonna be able to ask it directly to play your audiobook, which is pretty cool. You can't really do that with any other buds. And if you like Audible, this is a pretty big plus in my opinion, and it actually works kind of like how I expected. Another thing that is pretty good with these is I think the sound quality is pretty good for the price. They are pretty decent bass, and when you get a good seal, they actually do sound quite good, and you can hear all the details of the songs, and they're pretty impressive and, you know, pretty small in the ear for the amount of sound you could get. Another good thing about these is they're only around $129. Um, the Apple AirPods kind of Pro just came out for $250. These have kind of similar feature sets a little bit. You know, it kind of has, like, the, the ability to listen, but also have the noise canceling or noise reduction, so that's pretty cool. And at 129, I think these have a pretty good amount of features for the price. And they're just kind of cheaper than most other options out there, even cheaper than like the first generation AirPods. Um, you know, they are a little bit more expensive than some of the other kind of around the necks, like the Beats X, you could probably find cheaper, but 129 is a pretty good price. Another thing about the Buds is they're pretty easy to set up. Um, you just open up your Alexa app and kind of add it the same way you would any other kind of Alexa device, which if you've done that before, it's pretty simple and very intuitive. Not only that, but the Buds themselves even kind of have kind of a cool kind of guide set up within the packaging. You know, the, the Buds are all kind of the tips exactly are kind of color coded so it's easy to find out which ones are going to fit for you but guys let's of course get on to the bad stuff now the things i don't like about the buds is that interfacing with alexa can be a bit clunky sometimes um i notice that sometimes when i'm in my house you know the other alexas would pick up the noise and then i'm gonna mute the, i'm gonna mute it so i noticed that sometimes the other alexas would pick up the noise and it would be kind of like the split second where they're deciding you know which one that i want to talk to and it would usually figure out it's the one in my ear which is pretty smart and pretty cool that they can do that um however i figured out that it works best you know when you first say alexa and then you kind of wait for the bing like it's listening you know like what do you want and then of course you give the command if you just kind of say alexa and then ask it to do something sometimes that won't even work and you'll have to kind of redo the audio prompt which can be a little bit annoying overall i'd say due to the price the buds don't really feel that you know premium they do feel a little bit plasticky especially kind of the carrying case it feels very plasticky and not very premium um which makes sense again for the price but it's just something to keep in mind Customization here I think is very limited and probably the worst thing about these buds. All three of the buds are very small. I'm not really quite sure why they think people have such small ears. Maybe you don't have a problem with this. Maybe my ear canals are just kind of big. I'm not really quite sure what the issue is, but I've had these problem with the Echo Buds and also the Galaxy Buds where all three you know, tips don't really give me a proper seal. I've seen other people complaining about this as well on Reddit, so perhaps I'm not the only one with this issue. Basically what you're gonna have to do is buy some third party kind of ear tips, you know, even the you know, Alexa kind of welcome guide email that you get for opening the or buying the Echo Buds it even says you could buy an additional kit that give you more sizes, maybe like an extra large or comply tips, which you could put in as well, you know, for 15 bucks or something like that. But that's honestly kind of annoying to me. I wish they had provided one bigger size. I think that could have made a bigger fit. But overall, I also think that the fundamental design of these kind of buds, buds like Echo Buds, Galaxy Buds, and some other buds like this are kind of fundamentally flawed. I think it's definitely hard to get a fit with these rather than something like this kind of design where it's like kind of on the neck. I've always felt that this design is much better, fits in my ear much better just because the, the, the actual tip is so much bigger and gets a better seal. Not sure why they can't kind of make them look kind of like this design but I think this is definitely one of the strongest designs that should be more popular within the buds. And also I like the wingtip here, how it's not, the wingtips don't really fit that well on them. It's really a kind of a big hassle to kind of stretch and put them on the buds themselves. And they also feel too big and not very comfortable. I've also seen some other people complaining about this as well. And the thing is about this, the size of the buds too, if you put on a custom kind of tip onto the buds, 
Um, they're not going to fit properly in the charging station, so I actually put a different tip on that got a pretty good seal and made the bud sound pretty good. Um, but I woke up the next morning, and since they weren't kind of, they were a little too big to fit on the little charging pad of the, you know, um, charging station, so they didn't get charged all night and they're out of juice and I couldn't, you know, test them anymore, which was definitely annoying. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this bud design, but if you kind of have experience with these buds before and you like this design, you probably will be fine with it. Noise reduction here works okay. Um, having someone talk or something like that, you can notice a little decrease in it, but it's definitely not as something mind blowing as when you first put on your first pair of Bose, you know, headphones like this and it's just like, whoosh, you know, it's not that experience. Um, so you know keep that in mind it's not going to be super reductive um, i've heard some people saying similar things about the apple airpods pro but i would wager they probably l work a little bit better letting in the ambient noise works pretty good as well it kind of sounds like you're like hearing yourself through a speaker which kind of be a uh, disorient it kind of feels a little bit vibrating so i'm not a huge fan of it but it could be helpful if you're trying to talk to someone or something like that Another thing is the buds don't really have wireless charging for the case. And for some people, this could be annoying. Um, again, for the price, I don't think it's a big deal. And you could just kind of plug it in and charge it. Overall, guys, I don't think I'll be keeping the Echo Buds. I really like the idea of being able to interface with Alexa so easily and just ask it to play an audiobook without having to pull out my phone and do anything to it. However, I just don't think they're going to be comfortable enough for me, especially since I've been having some problems charging them. You know, maybe if I wanted to spend 20 bucks on some comply tips, put them on and wait for those to get here and then put them on, they might be okay. But honestly, since I like my Beats X already, I'm just probably going to stick with those since it's not really worth it to me just to spend $130 on some that sound arguably just about as good and the features are just kind of gimmicky. Um, I've always thought the AirPods have a little bit better of a fit um, overall and more of a mass market kind of fit or like something like the Beats X. It would be interesting to see, you know, how the design will change or stay the same with some of these buds in the future. Let me know down in the comments down below what you thought of this review and I'll see you again very soon.